so this is Khurram and you are watching Optometry with Khurram and today's topic is about how we can order a proper blank size, how we can order an appropriate blank size or how we can order a minimum blank size. So the formula for the minimum blank size is 2 into decentration plus effective diameter plus glazing. So first before learning about the minimum blank size we must have detailed knowledge about the decentration that what is the decentration so suppose the formula for the decentration is equal to frame pd minus patient pd divided by 2 so this is the formula for the decentration so first we will learn about the patient speedy that what is patient speedy you know very well about the ipd in the next video we will learn we will have a detailed video regarding that how we can measure how we can mark the perfect ipd of the patient for now the distance between the two pupil of the patient is called the ipd the intrapupillary distance that is called patient speed the distance between the two pupil of the patient right and now the frame pd right what is frame pd so to get the pd of the frame suppose we have this frame in my hand so if you want to find out the frame pd you will mark a central vertical line like this you will mark with the scale uh, this is for the sake of learning right so we will at the center of this frame you will mark a central vertical line and central horizontal line in the right side and same as in the left side and now the point where these two vertical and horizontal line are meeting together or crossing together the distance between these two points is called the frame pd so this is how we can find the frame pd right so we have discussed about the patient speedy the distance between the two pupil of the patient right and that dots you will mark on the patient's frame right if a patient came in your clinic first of all being a good optometrist you have to mark the ipd of the patient right we will discuss about that how we can mark a perfect ipd of the patient the distance ipd and the near ipd so this is distance pd of the patient which is called patient speedy right the distance between the two pupil of the patient and we have also discussed we have uh, we have learned about the frame pd right we will mark a central vertical line central horizontal line at the right side and the left side and where these two vertical and horizontal lines are meeting together or crossing together the distance between these two central dots on the frame is called the frame pd and then we will divide with the two suppose for example the frame pd is suppose 55 is frame pd and ipd or patient's pd is suppose 50 these are supposed values we will divide with the two right so 55 minus 50 is equal to 5 we will divide with the two the answer would be 2.5 so the decentration would be 2.5 millimeter so the question is that why we divide with the 2 right so the answer is because when we subtract 55 from uh, sorry when we subtract 50 from 55 the answer was 50 sorry 5 so that 5 mm was decentration or binocular decentration right why because when we discuss about the patient's PD, that was the distance between the two pupil, right? From one pupil to another pupil. And when, so that, that was binocular, right? Because we are discussing about two pupils. And when we discuss about the frame PD, that was the distance to distant central, the distance between the two central points, right? So in this case, we are discussing about the two dots. So that is also a binocular value. So in this case the decentration is monocular so when we need a monocular decentration we have to divide with the two so five was binocular and when we divide five to two the answer was 2.5 so 2.5 is our monocular decentration the decentration for the one eye right so let's discuss more about the decentration
So suppose these are two beautiful eyes. This is nose, right? So this is IPD, the left pupil. This is right pupil. And you know the distance between the two pupil is called the patient's PD, right? So this is patient's PD, right? So let's wear a good frame to our patient. So this frame in the blue color. Right, so the black dots are IPD, the two pupil, the distance between the two pupil, and suppose this is these blue dots are frame PD. So the distance between the two dots is the frame PD, the FPD. Right, so the question is where we need decentration. Remember that we do not need any decentration. I'm saying that we do not need any decentration if the frame PD is exactly equal to the patient's PD. So if the patient's PD and the frame PD are the equal, we do not need any decentration. But this is very, 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 very rare, right? So every time in case number one, if the patient, it could be uh, if the patient's PD would be more than the frame PD or frame PD would be more than the patient's PD. So in this case, you, you can see these blue dots, these are, these have wider distance. So in this case, the frame PD is bigger than the patient's PD, right? So I have two choices, right? I have to decenter the lens or I have to decenter the eyes, but I am unable to decenter my eyes. I can rotate my eyes everywhere, but I cannot change the position, change the anatomy of my eyes. Right, so we cannot change our, we cannot change the location of the eyes, but we can change the location of the lens. So that changing the location, that changing the position of the lens is called decentration. So in this case, the frame PD is bigger, the frame PD is bigger than the patient's PD. So we will decenter our lens inward. Right, so we conclude that if frame PD is bigger than patient PD then the decentration would be inward right and vice versa if the frame PD is smaller than patient PD then the decentration would be outward now we will discuss about the effective diameter right what is effective diameter we need frame again so this is frame so effective diameter of the frame is actually this is the rim of the frame right this is left rim this is right rim uh, rim and if you want to find out the effective diameter you have to measure all the sides of the frame from superior to inferior from nasal from superior nasal to inferior temporal from superior temporal to inferior nasal right you will measure the diameter of the frame right so you will choose a maximum diameter of this rim that is called the effective diameter right so effective diameter is actually the maximum dia of the frame that is called effective diameter right i hope this is clear and now glazing glazing is actually uh, for the waste right the material of the blank which is used for grinding and uh, you know cutting and grinding right that is called glazing and this is variable you can select 2 mm for glazing or you can choose 3 mm as well this is your choice right so let's solve an example of the mbs for the minimum blank size so we have discussed that our decentration was 2.5 mm into 2 the formula and for example our effective diameter was 55 and glazing for glazing we choose 2 mm right so 2.5 into 2 is 5 plus 55 effective effective diameter and 2 minimum glazing right so 55 and 5 60 60 plus 2 62 mm so this is called the minimum blank size right 
if your effective diameter is 55 you will order a blank size a minimum blank size of 62 millimeter so that was one case of the minimum blank size how to order a minimum blank size and in other case if the ipd of the patient is not equal if the ipd of the right eye and ipd of the left eye of the patient is not equal is not similar right suppose if the patients for example if the uh, patient's pd or ipd is 60 so we uh, oftenly consider that 30 is for the left eye and 30 is for the right eye right right so if the situation is not the same suppose for example these are two eyes and this is nose and for monocular pd if you want to uh, mark the monocular pd then we will find a distance from the center of the nose to this pupil from center of the nose to this pupil we will mark an individual ipd and why in in which cases suppose if the symmetry of the face is not same if it's not normal and if the anatomy of the face is not normal or if there is a sequent in one eye then we will take monocular ipd right so for monocular ipd we will mark from center of the nose to one pupil and center of the nose to another pupil so in in these cases in these cases the ipd of the patient would be not the same so for suppose this is right eye and this is left eye so for the right eye the ipd is suppose for example 30 and for the left eye the ipd is not same ipd is more than the right eye so that is uh, for example 32 so as you can see we took monocular ipd for the right eye and monocular ipd for the left eye so for the right eye that was 30 and for uh, left eye that was 32 and the frame pd for example this is frame pd and the frame pd is 70 mm right so ipd for the right eye is 30 ipd for the left eye is 32 and frame pd is 70 right so we have monocular ipds of the patient's eye and we have frame pd so for this we have to divide the frame PD, right? So frame PD is 70 divided by 2. So if we divide 70 into 2 with the 2, so answer would be 35. So monocular IPD is for the right eye is 30 for the left eye is 32 and monocular frame pd is 35 right half of the 70 right and now we will put these values in the formula so decentration for the right eye is the formula is the formula is the same frame pd minus patient pd so frame pd the monocular frame pd was 35 and patient's pd for the right eye is 30 so 35 minus 30 is equal to 5 mm but remember in this case you can feel the difference in this case we are not going to divide this value decentration with the 2 because this is already a monocular pd right so we are we do not need to divide with the 2 right so decentration for the right eye is 5 mm right so we'll put this in the formula so mbs minimum blank size is equal to 2 into 5 which is decentration plus effective diameter suppose 55 is the supposed value and glazing is for 2 right so 2 into 5 10 plus 55 plus 2 so 55 and 10 65 65 and 2 67 mm so minimum blank size for the right eye is 67 mm
right and now we will put the same thing with the left eye and you know the decentration in the left eye was 32 sorry the IPD of the monocular IPD for the left eye was 32 and if you deduct 32 from 35 the answer would be 3 mm again the MBS formula 2 into decentration the decentration is 3 plus 55 is effective diameter of the frame and 2 is for glazing right so 2 into 3 6 plus 55 plus 2 so 63 would be minimum blank size for the left eye so i hope all the concepts regarding the decentration regarding the minimum blank size are clear we'll see you in the next videos